Hi, I'm Naridan Sari, and in this video, we're gonna talk about Niagara system. So, without any further ado, let's begin. First of all, I'm gonna show you what is the Niagara system and what it can do. I want to create a playlist of video about Niagara system like I did for material okay and that playlist we will continue working on that and we will create a lot of cool stuff with materials but I wanted to start this playlist of videos about Niagara because Niagara is the coolest thing and we can use all of those knowledge about material and use it in Niagara as well and I will show you in this playlist of videos okay so you can see i did create a uh, effect a smoke effect in here and it's from niagara okay it's fast and it's a lot cooler than you think to play with so let me show you some use cases of this niagara system first thing let's just go through this content example and show you what it can do first of all this is just what for niagara particle but niagara has a lot more let's just talk about the particles you can see in here it's just a simple sprite emitter this is simple mesh emitter and you can see it clearly this is simple gpu emitter and the cool things about gpu emitter because it will be on gpu it will be much faster you ha can have a lot of particles without lowering your fps fps of your game right so next a sprite facing don't worry i will show you all of this in detail blend attribute by values let's just go on a static beams these are just some example of the things that you can do in Unreal Engine 5. Dynamic beams, next multiple renderers, so you can have multiple uh, mesh renderer and a sprite renderer in just one Niagara system. I will talk about all of them in detail, don't worry. And this is for location events, next one expressions. Okay. next one collisions so you can see it collision with the object in the scene right next one a static a static mesh sampling okay next one renderer overrides next one visibility tag and next one texture sampling and it's a lot cool right so you can use any texture to sample it with these particles okay it's cool right and we can use sound in our Niagara system as well. Next one, renderers with no particles, okay? And the last one, mesh oriented vs rotational forces. And in here you can see it's used, in this one it used mesh orientation, it's just rotating over mesh. After that, rotational velocity and drags, you can see it here. I will talk about velocity in this video series a lot, okay? After that, rotational forces, so we have velocity and forces. I will talk about both of them in the next video, okay? So let's just stop this and go to fluid, okay? I don't want to say. So the next content example that I want to show you is Niagara fluids, okay? So you can see it has 2D fire, it has 3D fire in here, you can see it, it is 2D fire, okay? And this 2D fire will run smoothly um, rather to this one, okay? You should decide which one you want to use. Next one, the liquid simulation, and you can see for 2D is this one and 3D is this one, it act cool, right? Next one, the explosion, it's realistic and cool and it won't lower your FPS at all, okay? And the fire rendering were from the static mesh, you can see it here, and you can see the fire has a lighting and it has a collision detect on an static mesh next if you want to have a for example a color the smoke like this next thing is when you have a 2d fire you can make it to face your camera and you can see this is 2d but when i change my camera like this it will follow my direction okay but this one doesn't follow our direction you can see it it's 2d right next one the effect that it can have with the moving objects 
Next one, 2D collision, and you can see this is 2D, uh, 2D smoke that is facing the camera, and it has collision as well. Next, next one, this water that is look realistic, and this waterfall simulation. We can do all of them, and I will show you all of them how you can create them. Okay, and next one, this water simulation again. Next one, when your player is going through the water and you can see it looks realistic, right? And next one is this constant emission, okay? It's a realistic water in our landscape, right? So next content example is Niagara Advance and there is a lot of cool stuff in here. I, I just want to show you the presentation of them okay first of all simulation stage field render target next you can see this cool effect that we can have it on a static mesh or a texture right and it's called advec grid to the collection next one communicate with external renderer target it's like a displacement map right okay so next one sample buffer attribute and you can see it clearly the coolest one, this skeletal mesh reproduction. I will show, show you this for sure. Just notice that this is the start of the playlist of video about Niagara system. And it, we, we will talk about all of this and how you can create them and how you can use them in your game, right? So next one that I think next cool thing about Niagara system is this and all of this is like a particle, right? But it has animation on them and they know their position, okay? And next one, particle attribute reader. Next one, follow the leader. You can see one of them is leader and uh, the rest are following them, okay? You can see it. I think this one is the leader, okay? And next one, a spawn particle from another meter. Next one, iterative constraint. Okay. It's cool, right? Next one, color copy by cell. Next one, dynamic grid transform. Next one, max neighbors per cell. Next one, color, pro color propagation. Next one, follow the leader <laughs> version. 2.0 <laughs> it's cool right next one position based dynamics okay next one plexus next one a structural support so you have a structure that you want your particle to support that okay um, next one that is third cool things about these bats or birds that they can find out the collision between their self and the static meshes and they fly away and you can see it uh, Arial Engine has a presentation on this component renderer. Next one, export particle data to the bl blueprint. So we can have the data in blueprint as well. Next one, bind Niagara curves to a sprite materials. So we can use it on materials as well. Collisions in simulation stage. Next one, dynamic distance field that we use this a lot for that bird effect that i did show you and that was it guys in the next video i will show you everything all the basic stuff with niagara system and after that we create some cool effect with that and after that we go through all of these options that niagara have and we create all of them by ourselves a step by step so please subscribe so you don't miss it and please if you want to help me and you like this video hit that like button as well thank you very much for watching bye